Real Housewives Atlanta, Season 7, Episode 2, No More Apologies. <laughs> anyway, um, I find it an infuriating episode. I find it an infuriating show. <laughs> I know. So we start with Phaedra, the dentist appointment for her son, Aiden. Great dentist. Um, I like my dentist, but I'd go to them. Cynthia is at her bar, and this whole interaction between her and Peter was like, I don't know. I just it just it just struck me. I mean, I know the whole show's kind of fake, but I felt even you more think? it felt even more fake. Like, I'm an independent woman and I'm sexually chasing my husband and you're like, "Why why are you even telling me these things? Like, I don't need to know any of this." Um and uh, they show all these pictures, and she's beautiful. So there's no doubt that Cynthia is beautiful. She can be more boring than a cardboard box, but she is beautiful. Um, and she's, she hates Nina, and she hates Portia and all that. So we see Candy, who's buying a house for her mom, so Mama Joyce. So I'm thinking that my ideal job is to be Mama Joyce, because apparently she's, you don't have to be very nice to Candy, and she just buys you houses. And Multiple. Multiple houses, because the first house, her old house wasn't good enough. And I know it's because she wanted to be closer. And Todd kind of calls her out on, basically, her mom asked for a new house. And she's like, well, she didn't really ask. And he's like, yeah, but she was like, I don't like it. I, it's too far. Anyway. If I had a mother-in-law like that. Yeah, you have a great mother-in-law. Um, so then they're like, oh, well, Todd and Mama Joyce are getting along better. And then they have the world's most awkward interaction and uh, conversation. It was really oh, yeah, horrible. She's a bitch. She's a, she's a tough girl. I understand Candy's point of view about being respectful to her mom, and I think it's a really good thing, but the, the thing yeah, that she does yeah, is she doesn't She takes it any... to a point where it disrespects her husband. Right. She, means she has no boundaries. Like, she doesn't ever say... So Mama Joyce goes, well, what does Todd think about it? And she tells her what Todd thinks about it. What, she's, what she should say... Is, bitch, please. That's it, none of your damn business. Well, just maybe a little white lie and just be like, well, you're my mom and it's really none of his business. Or, or Todd says, it's my decision. I mean, you don't go and repeat the story. I mean, it's just, it's just like the wrong way to handle it. It's not, they're separate relationships and you keep them separate. And So when you're counseling them, do you give them a hug when you see them? No, oh, shut up. You don't drag in other references. They don't know what you're talking about. Not my problem. Anyway, uh, they, so they look at a house that's like seven, it's on the other end of the block. And uh, it's got seven bedrooms and a basketball court. And of course Mama Joyce needs a basketball court and seven bedrooms. And of course she loves it. Uh, yeah, and so she'd move it. Then we see Kenya and Brandon hanging out. And it's the stupidest scene. I don't know why they included it. It was just this, the, it was like... It reminded me of when you see, if you've ever worked around like teen, like like teenagers, like I, I was a camp counselor once, and the girls or the guys will get together and they like start roughhousing and playing to like impress another group, and it's just super awkward and unrealistic. That's Kenya all the time. Like she's she's playing to the camera. I don't like her. Okay, I just don't. She irritates me, as you can tell by how irritated I am. We cut over to Nini. And her big premiere in the audience, there's like, the front row is like half empty. I mean, so you know that the whole rest of the entire place was empty. And they like put everyone down in front. It was really bad. I'm guessing it's like a Tuesday evening or matinee show or something like that. Would anyway, you see Nini? I, you know, I don't mind Nini. I'm kind of 50-50 on Nini. Like sometimes she is horribly wrong and sometimes she's kind of funny. So I'm kind of wishy. I'm, I'm, I feel that way about most people. I like Candy best. I do like Phaedra, but she's really wrong sometimes. Candy's obviously wrong sometimes. I don't like Kenya at all, and I'm kind of 50-50 on everyone else. I mean, anyway, so we cut back to Cynthia's thing. She apparently hates Portia. I don't know why. I guess someone said it's because of some Watch What Happens Live appearance, which would make more sense. I thought it was just because now she's Team Kenya, since Kenya hates Portia. Um... And people are really split, like they're either Team Kenya or Team Portia. I'm neither. I don't like Kenya, but I don't I don't necessarily support Portia attacking her. But Kenya was also, I'm gonna say, making a different kind of attack. 
Like I saw, like I wanted to smack Kenya just w watching her in the reunion when she was getting all up in someone's face. The enemy so, of my enemy is my friend. Well, I don't know. I don't want to go that far because my thing is you don't have to pick a team. You can hate both of them. You can, or you can dislike both of them. I don't like Kenya. <clears throat> I, 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 Portia, though, is, you know, the Underground Railroad. Like, she's not that smart. Okay. Anyway, Apollo. I don't Apollo, like smart, my women. Shut up. Such a liar. <laughs> Apollo shows up and he starts dishing on Phaedra. And I'm like, oh, gosh. Then he's like, I want to talk to Kenya. And he drops the bomb to everyone that he lied about the whole, about her offering him fellatio. But, okay, so that's a big dr thing because Peter... And Todd have both been his friend and have, like, backed him up on this, okay? But, just to be clear, that doesn't negate the whole Apollo-Kenya thing because we've seen her flirting with him. We've seen him pick her up and throw her in the pool. She showed Candy text. We saw that about, you know, and, and Candy was like, that's not appropriate. You don't talk to your, you don't talk to a married man that way. You don't talk to your friend's husband that way. So even though he lied about the fellatio, once again, we don't have to pick Kenya or Apollo. We can dislike both of them, and that's how I feel. They're both shady. Um, I don't necessarily believe that Kenya ever wanted him. I think she liked getting the attention of her enemy's husband. I think it made her feel good that she could get that she didn't like Phaedra, and Phaedra's husband was paying attention to her. I really do think that. I, it's it's. It's like the kind of thing like 13-year-olds do flirting with their friends that they're fighting with boyfriends or their enemy's boyfriend. I mean, it's really super immature. So once again, not picking a team. She's a hoe. Um, I, don't, I just don't like her. I just don't think she's a good person. I, I don't think Apollo... And no one should be shocked that he lied. He stole, like, what, $2.3 million through identity theft? Like, and, and someone made a comment, on, you know, on Twitter about, you know, he doesn't, he wants to apologize. What about the people he stole money from? Anyway, we do vaguely meet Claudia. She's just sort of like there and gone. We didn't get like the real big official introduction. I think that's going to come in the future. I don't know. I don't have an opinion on her yet. And that's the episode. Um, wa but watching that whole apology was one of those things that just set my teeth on edge. And she's well, acting like she's... Show. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. Okay, well, that was a... Uh, yeah, someone hit me up in the comments. We had a really great blog last time. Well, I mean, views-wise. I mean... There's a dog. Oh, there's a dog there. I wonder what is going on back there. Um, but, uh, yeah, did you find this episode as good as the last episode? Hit us in the comments. Post anything you want. Are you... and? As always, I don't care if you're Team Kenya, whatever. It doesn't affect me at all. It's just a it's just an entertainment show. There's no point in arguing. Okay? Unless you're actually Kenya, then you might be mad at me. But I doubt she watches my recaps.